Okay, hello. We're talking about the Hubson Mini. Welcome back to the office. Gorilla Man's Garage. Yeah, I got some swag on today. Little bits and pieces and hopefully we're going to have uh, a Christmas special coming up. Anyway, beside the point. We've had a problem with the Hubson Mini. We had the crash, submerged, in silt, got it out, fixed it, flew it, flies exactly the same as it did before it went under the water. Okay. Hubson sent me some new PIDs. Now you can only change the PIDs if you use the Hubson Tool app. So what I do is I only use the Hubson Tool app on a separate phone. I found that if you have the Hubson Tool and the X Hubson app on the same phone or device, it kind of sometimes messes up. So. I use my Samsung S7 Edge for the Hubson Tool app, and I use my Samsung S9 Plus to fly. Okay, so what we did was we took the range of PIDs that Hubson sent me, and we divided them into quarters. So I did seven flights with seven different PID settings from below what Hubson sent me to above what Hubson sent me. Okay? I'm going to show you seven one minute clips. They are, for all intents and purposes, identical. And I need your help. Okay? They are seven different pit settings throughout the range. My initial issue was jello and yaw jitter. So, I created a very short uh, zigzag waypoint mission, and I'll show you this waypoint mission here. I ran it seven times, right after each other. Every time I came back, I changed the pit, sent it back up again, went through a whole battery. Okay? They are within 35, 40 minutes, the whole thing, and I want you to tell me if you can tell any differences. I think I saw some had a little bit of wave in it, but after you look at these videos over and over and over, it gets harder and harder to tell. So I'm calling out for your help. Can you tell me the differences? Okay. If I can get the Hubson Minis 1 over 1.3 camera to perform without Jello and minimal jitter because all kinds of drones have an issue with yaw jitter to some degree okay some don't but a lot of them do so the hubson mini here we go i'm going to roll all seven clips all together a through g and at the end i'm going to show you what a through g was and i only changed one pid the yaw under the D section. Okay, we went from 1.25 to 2.75. Okay, so A through G. At the end, go back for, and I'll put a timestamp in the bottom, okay? Go back and forth. If you can, you know, spare 20 minutes, half an hour of your time, let me know what you think. I did notice some minor differences. Are there focal issues in some and not in others? I tried to clean the lens every time. I tried my best. Okay? So, let's get into the videos. And at the end, I'll come back. I may be more confused than ever. But I really want this Hubson Mini to work. I must admit, after the crash, it's been probably, oh, at least a dozen or more flights I've had with it. I've had no other issues with it. It flies great. It hovers great. Everything seems to work properly. So I, I, I have no issues with that. My issue for making comments to other people that make comments is, do I really want the Hubson Zeno Mini SE or the Hubson Mini? Which is the better drone? Well, if you're into the weight game, then Obviously, the Hubson Mini, Hubson Zeno Mini SE is because it's under 250 grams. The Hubson Mini is over 250 grams. It's 251 grams. Okay, 
but the camera has the potential to be substantially better. So there's the give and take, okay? Please watch the videos. Please let me know what you think at the end and leave a comment below, okay? See you in the next one or at the end.
So there you have it. Seven one minute clips, the exact same waypoint mission over and over and over repeated. Okay, A through G. So here I'm going to show you what all the pitch settings were. And again, the only pit that I changed was the yaw under the D column. So I'll show you this for five or six seconds. You can pause and have a look. Which video did you identify as being the better of the seven? Okay, considering everything except for the tilted horizon. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. So here's that image now. What do you think? Leave a comment below. I'm really interested in your comments. I'm in touch with Hubson all the time, trying to figure this out. Yes, I'm doing more than I should. We shouldn't be the ones doing it, but same as Femi, Hollystone, you know, Seafly, whatever you want to call the off-brand names. Basically, the consumers are the testers, okay? But once I get something in my mind, I really don't want to shake it loose until I kind of figure it all out, okay? I did that with the Femi X8 Mini, yeah, and it figured itself out. It's a great little drone, except mine has a little bit of a jello issue when it's cold. But other than that, it's got some phenomenal features. Phenomenal. It's really a good little drone, okay? The Hubson Mini has the potential to be a really good drone, okay? So go back and forth, back and forth. Let me know, please. Leave a comment, and we'll see about Christmas coming, okay? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Okay? Bye now.